Hi, this is Abdul Karim from Khalij Times. In this video, we are discussing the landing of the Soyuz spacecraft, which will bring the UAE's astronaut Haza Al Mansouri back to the Earth. It has been a memorable week for the UAE for sending its first astronaut up into space. The 35 year old astronaut is expected to land on the 3rd of October at 2.59 pm UAE time. It took him six hours to reach the International Space Station. However, the return journey will be much shorter and it will take him less than three and a half hours to land. The landing is also not as straightforward as it may seem. Up in space, Hazza has also been making the most of his time. Aside from the video calls and the 16 experiments he has conducted, Hazza has also been sharing his experience on social media whether dressed in the traditional Emirati attire and even sharing some spectacular shots on social media. Hazar will be making his return journey on board the Soyuz MS-11 spacecraft. The Soyuz does not land like an airplane because the Soyuz does not have wheels or wings. It has three elements attached end to end. These include the orbital module, the descent module and the instrumentation or propulsion module. The Soyuz capsule sits on top of the Soyuz rocket. The first part of the capsule is the orbital module. The crew members live in the orbital module while they are in orbit. This module is about the size of a large van. The orbital module can connect to the space station. The second part of the capsule is the descent module. The crew sits in this part when the Soyuz is launching to the space station and also use the descent module for landing on Earth. The third module is home to the life support systems. It holds things like batteries, solar panels and steering engines. All three modules normally separate simultaneously. Shortly after the deorbit burn is completed at around 140 km altitude. Three hours after undocking, the Soyuz reaches entry interface, which is a point 400,000 feet above the Earth, where friction due to the thickening atmosphere begins to heat its outer surfaces. Minutes later, the spacecraft is descending through the sky at a rate of 755 feet per second. The speed will slow to only 5 feet per second before landing and it will land at an even lower speed than that. Parachutes are deployed 15 minutes before landing, which dramatically slow the vehicle's rate of descent to only 24 feet per second, which is still too fast for a comfortable landing. Now this is one of the hardest parts of the return for the crew, which has been described as being inside a washing machine by some returning astronauts. Further cushioning the impact of landing are the crew seats with their custom-fitted liners. The liners are made pre-flight, individually, molded to fit each person's body. This ensures a tight, comfortable fit when the module lands on the Earth. And one second before touchdown, two sets of three small engines on the bottom of the vehicle fire, slowing the vehicle to soften the landing. The vehicle lands on the grassy plains of Kazakhstan in Central Asia. Ground and air crews converge on the Soyuz to extract the crew from the capsule. The crew will then undergo immediate and preliminary health checks once outside their Soyuz spacecraft. All three are then transferred to a medical tent and then prepared for transit away from the landing site. After landing, the crew is then taken on a helicopter to the recovery staging area in Karaganda, Kazakhstan. Azar Mansouri is expected to head to Moscow for a week to 10 days before his return to the UAE to complete the UAE's historical journey into space. To stay updated and find out more about Hazal's journey, you can log on to khalijtimes.com. Thank you for watching and it's goodbye for now.